welcome to a video where I shall rank characters in a specific genre and piss off people across the globe because it does not match up with their opinion and therefore believe I should be incarcerated. Today's video shall be a ranking on the 5 strongest upgrades in BFN out of a potential of um, way too many fucking useless upgrades in this game. Let's get started. In 5th place. We have reanimated. On its own, this upgrade doesn't seem like much, being able to revive allies twice as fast for 10 seconds. But it's once you pair it in certain builds such as the Rapid Riser, you can very easily go on a literal resurrecting spree, and pick up several members of your team in a matter of seconds. This upgrade can essentially allow your teammates to play extremely aggressively, and you can go almost entirely uncontested due to how fast you'll be resurrecting people. It only manages 5th place however, due to it depending heavily on other upgrades to get real value, that and sometimes, your revival streak may be screwed over by teammates who are unwilling to cooperate and respawn mid-revival. In 4th place. We have Combat Adrenaline. Unlike Reanimate, Combat Adrenaline can very easily get by on its own, due to its pure ability to keep the pea soup ability going on as long as the player is able to damage an enemy. This seemingly simple concept allows pea shooters to very easily snowball into dominating the enemy team, with not only a slight speed boost, but a significantly faster rate of fire, and much higher jumps, allowing the pea shooter to very easily become a green mean fucking killing machine. Combat Adrenaline only manages 4th place, for whilst it is fairly powerful, it does come with a hefty price tag of 4 points, so certain upgrades can't be used with it. In 3rd place. We have calibrated. This is another upgrade that depends on another in order to properly function, in this case, being looting. However, this deadly combination allows Cactus to essentially steamroll the enemy team once you claim one or two critical eliminations. Pairing this upgrade with looting allows you to unlock its full potential and essentially spam fire fully charged shots at a fairly fast rate of fire. Calibrated gets third place, with its insane potential of being able to steamroll the enemy team, although it it has a significant skill demand out of the player. In second place. We have tennis skills. This upgrade is simple on paper, and absolutely devastating in execution, allowing All Star to move at full speed, and jump whilst using his primary all for only the price of 3 points, is extremely fucking broken. You essentially remove the main weakness of All Star, and allow his offensive potential to skyrocket far beyond what the base class would even be able to achieve. And because it's only 3 points, you can pair the upgrade with a lot of different combinations, and it is fairly flexible. And in first place, we have Bone Master. Whilst expensive at 4 points, this upgrade far outweighs its costs in what it provides, granting a 75% reduction in how long it takes to charge your weapon for the next 3 seconds upon any elimination. This allows 80s to become essentially batshit insane, and dish out fully charged shots in under half a second, with a potential of 75 per shot. All you need is one kill on any enemy, and those 3 seconds of glory are yours to start a chain reaction with, and just outright snowball the enemy. Normally a 4 point price tag would make it not that flexible, but all you need really, is this, leg day, and targeting arrows in order to essentially become the best character known to exist. There is no competition. Bowmaster simply offers far more than what every other upgrade can provide, and holds first place by a fucking milestone. Be sure to come back for the next episode in 2 weeks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.